All right, so don't start your timer yet, but this is probably the fastest way to get a GSM network set up for pen testing. Uh, I just want to make clear to anybody that's watching and YouTube, this is all my own equipment in a box here. Uh, the phone that you see is just a mirror of a S4 that I have sitting here. I'm just uh, mirroring it to the desktop so you can see kind of what's going on. I do have other phone I have two other uh, Samsung S3 phones where I could have did a call to call but the batteries are dead and I've not ordered another one so this is the only one that I have left right now it's got a, a sim card in it just to throw away I don't really care uh, about the MZ or whatever that will come up here when we run this uh, so uh, let me think what else uh, yeah that's probably about it I'm going to show this with a Lime SDR mini I have sitting here uh, but it'll also work uh, thanks to uh, some contributions um, by an individual that made a fork of Osmo Network in the Box specifically for Dragon OS that uh, included UHD support. I've tried it on a B205 Mini. It also works on a, a B210 that I know of. I'm sure it'll work on other stuff. Uh, this is the older Osmo setup. Dragon OS, believe it or not, does have the newer where HLR and all that is split apart. Even it, though, is a little older. I didn't want to change anything yet because I've got all this working. The other reason I'm showing this, if you notice up here in the top area, is the uh, Calypso BTS. I'm just waiting on a few parts, and then I'm going to include all that in Dragon OS. So the goal would be that, too, would work out of the box, uh, most likely using this, what I'm about to show you right now, to run in everything under the hood the SDR with the clip so I I guess you'd say would be the phone itself so all you got to do all right go ahead and start your timer uh, if we change into the user source Osmo network in the box we take a look we look at main.h to see what options there are we're just going to use the default device which is Lime I'll pick interact uh, you could do GPRS and SIP I'll show that as well uh, although we need to change one thing here. Ooh, let me see. Uh, let me think. If we sudo nano or config.json file and we'll turn call on. Uh, actually, we'll just turn them all on and ussd. So we should get a text. A USSD pop up and then a call occurring to the phone automatically. Asterisks, all that stuff is set up and working. So all you got to do is run the following. Uh, let me think because I forget already. Let's see, U for interactive, and uh, that's that's it. I'm not going to do any of the GPRS or or that right now. We'll just do this. Here we go. Simple as this. Okay, I take that back. You gotta plug the line SDR in. Alright, now we're good. Services start up automatically. I'll take the phone. Uh, take it off of uh, airplane. It's already configured for that network. Give it a second. You should see roaming pop up. It's connected. Okay, we got a USSD. Uh, we got the text message that's popping up. Give it a second. Oh, forgot. Darn it. Shut. It automatically shuts everything down with a Control C. Uh, we forgot one thing. Let's see. We forgot the SIP part. I might have to see.
Okay, yep. Got that, got that, let's see. Alright. And it's just a default. Oop. If I can actually answer it. Come on. Hmm. Well, I missed the call, but I'll get it again because it'll keep doing it. Until I answer it. There we go. And that's just a, a default uh, sound effect there uh, that was part of Asterix. So, all right. There you go. It's SMS, USD. You can also... Let me see, user source, I haven't used this part in a while, let me think, um, uh, I think it's actually an auxiliary. Sender extension. One eighty eight. I didn't need the dash H. <laughs> okay. And what was our other options? This sends to everybody. Oh, wait a minute. I think zero is. Uh... One of these. There we go. I don't know if that was one or two, but let's try it again. Okay. There you go. That was pretty quick. Um, yeah. All right. Have a good, uh, good New Year's.